Right, to answer Ian's question on the sale of water, and forgive the shakiness of this video, it's an iPhone and I've now got carpal tunnel as a result of painting that by hand. So yeah, old man trying to do a 25 year old's job. Anyway, let's go and have a look. <coughs> 2019, we put three greenhouses on there. And you see only me two, one blew away earlier this year. We also built a dam, I say we, the Royal Me, built a dam around the silo doors to stop the water running back in, especially in the winter as the snow melts over the doors first and as that snow line recedes, the water's got nowhere else to go but straight in there. So, hence the dam, and was being sheeted up from 2019 onwards until this year. Yeah. Basically, it took damaged. It tends to be a dog magnet. As soon as it rains and there's water in here, the dogs are in it, tearing it up. And that was the end of that. Um, come back to that in a second. Also sealed up any of the other protrusions that uh, leak water in or take water in. And what else? Other protrusions that don't appear to take water in, like that one on the left. And then the other big thing, because the idea was to stop the water going in to see where the, uh, it would actually settle. Over here, and I'll have to move that as carpets. The carpets are over, over the grid. We have a blind dog and if it gets on the grid, it stops and won't move. So let me pull this out the way. Here, so you can get that on the video. There we go. Yeah, you can see that four inch bend. So, four inch bend, and that pipe comes up, and that four inch pipe goes there, turns through there into the silo down 174 feet to the two pumps that are in the sump. Then here, there's a outflow pipe. This is the, what they call the drainage basin. There's an outflow pipe over there somewhere. Back in 1980, these uh, Kwanzaa huts were converted into factories and warehouse space and office space. When he did that, they also dug out a loading bay there. My suspicions are when he dug out that loading bay, they crushed or damaged that clay pipe that was going to the drainage ditch. I've not been able to find it in the drainage ditch, but I know it's blocked because when this fills up with water or gets water in it, in the loading bay, we get the same level of water in this basin and it takes it Hmm. maybe a couple of days to disappear. So wherever that went is blocked. But that water used to run back into the silo. So the silo was always at that water height. Since we put that pipe in, did this to seal the doors and the other things, the water has gone down. Um, not sure how far going to go for a little investigation. Uh, I do see water down the bottom of the stairs. The actual door is uh, locked at the moment. Can't find the key. So once I get in there, I'll go and have a look in the next few days and see exactly where the water is. Um, anyway, it is important that we actually get in there because I've got good plans or big plans for this 
silo because we have things protruding like them two tubes there various tubes around the outside and periphery and my plan is to put over there where the greenhouse went down a 8 inch steel pipe to mount a solar tracker on and the second solar tracker somewhere around here another 8 inch pipe with the option of putting a third one over there With the three spread out around the circumference of the silo, they will not shade each other and I will get full performance out of those solar panels. The other thing I'm looking to do is, you can see by the amount of wood we have, uh, we use wood for heating as we have a summer of 2000, sorry winter 2020 we went through 1500 gallons of diesel. That's not feasible anymore. So last year we tried to do a mixture of diesel and wood and that was okay but it's going to come to the point where I won't be able to cut wood anymore. So the idea is going to have solar. I have got an abundant source of 52 degree water. If I trench here and go down the filling vent shaft I can get access to that water and do a ground source heat pump in the building which will heat the building, the electricity to run that will come from the solar, I'll be net zero on heating and lighting and everything. I also have a second project which is even further down the road and even wilder is over behind the wedge there is a number of tanks that are used to store water. They're empty at the moment or near empty. There is some water in there which I am actually putting into these IBCs over there to evaporate it down to a solid because I don't know what it is and I'm not putting it on the land if I don't have no idea what's in it. Once those tanks are empty, and I can get this water down in the silo sufficiently because we are a hundred feet above the lake. So if I can get it down to a hundred feet and maintain that level at a reasonable cost, I've got the option of doing a pump storage system, pump the water out into the tanks while the solar is available. When the solar is not available and the solar batteries are down, I'll also have the option of opening a valve uh, remotely and run a turbine, a water turbine down at the 100 foot level which is basically a water battery. So that's about all the news I've got. Next things is I'll cut the lock off that door. I have my suspicions the key was hid away from me so as uh, to uh, keep me on track on the roof repairs. I'm very easily distracted into the next new shiny project which gets my attention and also do an inquiry on what I need permitting and approvals wise to um, use this water and I'm thinking of actually using it myself because we've already started over there uh, cleaning up that land and leveling that land we also want to grow our own crops here, which is probably going to be all along there. The wife wants to grow fruit trees and vines over that side of the fence there. There's a possibility of a pond over there at some point, but it's exceedingly dry here. And uh, the grass is dying off now. So if I can use that water to irrigate this land a lot of it's going to evaporate anyway and as long as it's clean um, or cleanable because I do have a number of uh, ideas for filtering it we should be able to get the water down accomplish these projects and utilize the water 
for the future. So that's about it. It is 10 minutes and I'll uh, see how this video works out.